Hi guys, welcome back to another video and a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my very own website, 7MLC Training. They provide so many great resources from marketing tools to analytics. They really are the all in one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. But today's video is going to be a compilation of 25 skills that you can learn. So they start off really easy with number one and then we get increasingly more difficult as the video goes forward. So start off with the first one, master that, move on to the next and see how many of these 25 you can master. But let's get right into the first skill. So let's have a look at the first skill here. The best place to use this one is on the sideline because we're reenacting like we're gonna perform a V cut which is to drag it back and then push it with the inside of our foot. So most defenders will read this and try and block the ball so you can turn this into a nutmeg opportunity. So the first phase of the movement is to drag the ball back. As we drag the ball back, the defender's typically gonna reach for that ball. And as you can see, the gap's created through their legs. Then you're gonna use the outside of the same foot and slot the ball through and control the ball on the other side. That's one variation of it. A second variation, we can use our foot furthest away from the ball, perform the same movement, drag it back towards us once again. Defender's gonna lunge for the ball. Then we use the outside of the opposite foot, flick it through, and off we go. The second nutmeg is a great one to use on the wing once again when the defender's approaching from the middle of the pitch. A perfect example of this one is Lionel Messi on James Milner. And instead of using a movement of the ball to bait the defender, we're gonna use our body to bait the defender. So I have the ball at my feet. I'm gonna make it seem like I'm gonna travel down the wing and I'm gonna use my body to lunge forward. That's gonna make the defender step. And as you can see, creating a gap between the legs. Then we're gonna use the outside of our opposite foot to push it through and then we can retrieve the ball on the opposite side and now the defender has their back to you so now you can accelerate away and they're going to have to turn a whole 180 degrees before they start chasing after you. Another good one that you can use on the wing, but you can also use one in the middle of the pitch. So this one's a little bit more hidden. So what we're gonna do is we're face one-on-one -on -one with the opponent, and we're gonna step over the ball with our foot furthest away from the ball. So we step across, make it seem like we're gonna go down the line. That creates the gap between the defender's legs. And then we're gonna use our back foot this time, using the inside of the foot to push the ball through. So once again, we step across that ball. This makes the defender think we're going one way, and then we're gonna use our back foot to put the ball through their legs, then we can get the ball on the opposite side. So there's two steps that Neymar uses. The first step is he hops off his standing leg to one side. So that makes his body go in one direction and he's using his body to lead the defender, making him think that's the direction he's gonna go. And then with his other leg, he kind of wiggles it to really make the defender think he's gonna push the ball in that direction. And then the last phase is to push the ball with the outside of the foot in the opposite direction. So let's have a look here. As we hop to the side, the defender thinks we're going that way and we're gonna wiggle our leg, really commit that defender and then we push the ball in the opposite direction and accelerate away. So the first phase is putting our foot on top of the ball, rolling it to one side. As I roll the ball to the side, the defender thinks I'm gonna go that way, then immediately I'm gonna snap the ball with the inside of my foot into the space. So I have my foot on the ball, roll it, defender commits, I snap it, I've created space to accelerate into. I've also seen Neymar use this move when he's faced 1v1, facing forwards as well. So he has the ball, he rolls it to the side, defender lunges on that ball, then I cut it into the space and accelerate off. So 
So to set this one up, I like to use the inside of my foot and just keep the ball moving slightly. This keeps the defender on their toes. If you stop the ball, that just gives them an opportunity to pounce and take the ball from you. So it's a small touch with the inside of the foot, and then with that same leg, you're gonna move to the side, bending the knee, dropping the shoulder, really selling it like you're going one way, and then you're gonna continue on in the same direction you were nudging the ball. So it's a little touch, fake, and accelerate off. Open your eyes, shine and rise. You don't know what the day might bring. You will Second iconic Ronaldo skill is a move that's almost like the Elastico, but of course Ronaldo being Ronaldo, he adds his own spice to it to make it unique to him. So once again, he's showing the defender making it look like he's gonna to go to the inside, and he takes a little touch forward with the heel of his right foot. And then because he has really quick feet, he then snaps his foot to the inside, making the ball go down the line, and then he accelerates away. So two phases once again. The first phase, push it forward with the heel, then almost in one movement like an Elastico, we snap our foot to the inside and accelerate away. So just like before, instead of using the inside heel, we're gonna use the outside heel. So right at the back of the foot, we're gonna push the ball forwards, make it seem like we're going down the line, and then we're gonna open up our foot quickly and snap the ball to the inside. So once again, very much like the elastico movement, but it's all with the outside of the foot. So two phases once again, we push it forward with the outside of the foot, and then snap it towards the inside, and that's where we accelerate away. So the first phase of the move is the step over. So we throw our foot around the front of the ball, then we plan that foot, jump off of it, and then we chop with the inside of our opposite foot, and then our left leg goes around the front of the ball. So we jump off and chop to the opposite direction. So the defender thinks we're going that way, so then we chop the ball behind our standing foot and accelerate in the opposite direction. So the first step to the elastico is pushing the ball at an angle with the outside to the top of your foot, right here in between the laces and the outside of the foot. So with this area of the foot, we're gonna push the ball 45 degrees in the opposite direction to where we eventually take the ball. This is gonna bait the defender, so to really sell it what we need to do as we're making contact with the ball and pushing it, we're gonna drop our shoulder, bend our knee, and use our body to really make it look like we're gonna go in this direction. And then we're gonna transfer the ball to the inside of the foot and it's almost all in one movement. So we push the ball, we transfer it to the inside and snap it in the opposite direction. So the key with this one is to keep in contact with that ball throughout the movement. We're not tapping it away from us, but instead we're pushing the ball. So it should stay stuck to your foot and then you're gonna transfer it to the inside and then you're gonna push it in the opposite direction and that's when you accelerate away. So it's very similar to the Elastico, but instead of going from outside to inside, we're going inside to outside, and we're also going behind our standing leg with the ball. So it's a really good one for bamboozling the defender. You're not gonna use this one at speed, but great to use in the corner or on the sideline, and you can off-balance that defender, make it seem like you're going one direction with the ball, and then flick it in the opposite direction. So the first step to the Hocus Pocus is stepping in front of the ball. You wanna make sure there's enough room between your heel and the ball so it doesn't get tangled, and you can push the ball behind your standing leg. Then with the inside of your strong foot, you're gonna push the ball 45 degrees, and once it gets past your foot, you're gonna exchange to the top of the foot and flick it 45 degrees in the opposite direction. So you really need to make sure there's a big enough gap and you're taking the ball nice and wide so it clears your foot and you're gonna push it with the top of the foot in the opposite direction. So we step in front, push it 45 degrees, transfer 45 degrees in the opposite direction and that's when we accelerate away.
So for this skill, there's three steps. The first step is to place your foot on top of the ball and use the sole of the foot to drag it back towards you 45 degrees. And then the second step is to hop off of our standing leg and use the inside of the foot to push it back in the same direction the ball just came from. So you drag it back towards you, hop off of your standing leg, and you're gonna push it back where it just came from. Final step is to hit the ball with the inside of your opposite foot, 45 degrees in the opposite direction once again, and this is where we accelerate away. So the first two steps are to bait the defender, so you drag it back towards you, hit it back, that makes the defender lunge for the ball, then you're gonna use the inside of the foot, hit the ball past their foot, and you can accelerate away. So the first step is pushing the ball out 90 degrees from where we're standing. So we push the ball out 90 degrees, and then we're gonna use a Rabona kicking technique to make it seem like we're gonna strike the ball. So the Rabona is when we use our striking leg, go behind our standing foot and strike the ball. But instead of striking the ball, what Rubinho does, he hops over the ball and pushes the ball back in the direction it came from. So he hops over, uses the top of his striking foot, pushes the ball back, and he uses this to bait the defender into lunging for the ball. As that defender lunges, he pulls the ball back towards himself, then uses the inside of that same foot, pushes it across, transfers feet, and then pushes it beyond the defender where he can accelerate away. So let's piece it all together here. So we push the ball 90 degrees, hop over the ball, push it back in the direction we just came from, pull the ball away from the defender's foot, croquette her around, and accelerate away. The first step is getting the ball up into the air so that we can use the outside of our foot to flick it over the defender's head. So the flick up that Neymar uses, he places his non-dominant foot on the ball and he drags it back towards himself. Then with his opposite foot, he gets underneath the ball to lift it into the air. So kind of like this. But instead of flicking it directly up in front of himself, he flicks it slightly behind himself, which is really effective for two reasons. If the ball's going away from the defender, it's gonna make that defender lunge forward so that when you flick the ball over their head, their momentum's coming forward and it gives you more chance of getting away from them on the opposite side. But also, it puts the ball in a position where he can just lift his foot, use the outside to make contact with the ball and flick it up over the defender's head. So when you're flicking up the ball towards you, make sure it's coming slightly behind you. Instead of right in front of you, just slightly behind so you can raise your foot and flick it up over the defender's head. So let's piece it all together here. We flick up the ball by dragging it towards us, slightly behind, up over the defender's head, and off we go. So there's two steps to this move. The first one is the bait. So the bait is pulling the ball back towards us with the sole of the foot. This is gonna make the defender thinking we're either turning or cutting towards the inside, and it's gonna make them stop for a split second. Then you wanna take advantage of that by then pushing the ball with the inside of your opposite foot almost in one movement. So as you pull the ball back, you're gonna hop off of your standing leg and push it with the inside. Key tip for this one, you actually wanna open up the body as you're dragging it back towards you to really make that defender think you're going towards the inside. So you're gonna use your body and quick feet to deceive the defender. So let's piece it together here. Defenders alongside you, push, and off we go. So once again, there's two phases to this move. The first phase is to bait the defender, deceive them, and the second phase is to push the ball past them and accelerate away. So the first phase is the bait. So we're gonna throw our foot around the ball and perform a classic step over. Make sure we're not going over the ball, but around the front. We wanna keep nice and low, protect that ball, but also make it seem like we're gonna push the ball down the line. That's the bait. Most defenders wanna keep us to the line. They don't want us going to the inside. So they'll usually stick out a leg, keeping their body here to stop you going from the inside and trying to use this leg to block you going down the line. 
So we're using that as the bait, the step over, and then the second phase is then to get around the defender's foot. And we're gonna use a lack of keta movement, so we're pushing the ball from one side of our body to the other, so we're keeping it in contact with our foot so we keep close control, pushing it all the way across, and then that second touch, we're taking a longer touch and pushing it down the line. And as you can see, as I take that second touch, my back foot's already in a position to accelerate, so then we can explode past the defender. So once again, we're gonna use the step over, to bait the defender and then use the lacquer ketter to get around the defender's foot and push the ball away. So once again, we're being approached by the defender. Usually they'll come at 45 degree angle to try and cover both the line and also the inside. So the first phase of this movement is to make it seem like we're going to the inside. And we're gonna use the inside of our foot and push it across our body. We're staying in contact with the ball similar to the La Croqueta movement. So we're pushing it to the inside. And to make this even more deceptive, we wanna lean our shoulder, lean our knee in that direction to really put that defender off balance. Then the second phase of the movement is then pushing it to the outside. So it's in contact with our foot, then we change the direction of the ball all in one movement and push it down the line. And the reason this one's so effective is because while the ball's on your foot, most defenders don't expect the ball to change direction. Usually they'll expect two touches if it's gonna change direction. So one touch to the inside and then a second touch to the outside. But because it's all one fluid movement, it makes it really difficult for the defenders to anticipate. And as you can see, with that second touch, once again, I'm already in a position with my back foot so I can accelerate forwards. So let's look at it a little bit quicker here. So we have the ball inside, outside, and off we go. Sometimes in a match, defender's gonna come in really quickly. They're gonna stick their leg out to try and stop you from going down the line, and they're gonna keep their body here to try and stop you from going to the inside. They're trying to contain you right here. So this is the perfect opportunity to use the lift to quite literally lift the ball over their foot so you can accelerate down the line. So the technique with the lift that's gonna make this most effective is digging your toes underneath the ball, but not only lifting it from the foot, but you're also lifting from the knee, almost level with your hips. So you lift your knee and your toes upwards, that's gonna scoop the ball up, and also with our back foot, we're gonna accelerate at the same time. So we're gonna be on the balls of our back foot, lift at the front, and also jump with our back leg to clear their leg, control the ball on the opposite side, and accelerate away. So defender comes in, we lift the ball and our knee, and off we go. This is a great move to use when you're faced one-on-one -on -one with the fullback and you want to create an opportunity to cross the ball. So there's two phases to this movement once again. First phase is to bait the defender. Second phase is to create the space to get the cross in. So first phase is the roll step over. So when we're faced one-on-one, -on -one, we're gonna roll the ball with the sole of the foot to the inside and then with the opposite foot, we're gonna step across the ball. That's phase one. Then phase two, we're gonna perform a slight body feint to really sell it, making the defender think we're going to the inside. So slight bend in the knee, drop the shoulder, and then we're gonna cut the ball 90 degrees with the outside of our foot. The defender's gonna be committed to the outside, and then we can come onto the ball, either dribble down the line, or we can get the cross in straight away. So let's look at all pieced together here. So we have the ball, we roll, step over, body feint, cut back, cross. This is a great one for creating an opportunity to cross the ball. And we're taking a skill that was made popular by Cristiano Ronaldo and we're adding one extra step to deceive the defender. So let's break this one down step by step. We step around the ball. As our foot is in front of the ball, we jump off of our planting foot. We hit it with the inside, the inside of our opposite foot, and then the inside of our opposite foot once again and accelerate away.
we're taking another classic move and adding an extra step once again. So this is the original move. We push the ball, step around it, and then cut inside with our opposite foot. But for this variation, what we're gonna do is we push, step, and then it's a reverse elastico. So it's really gonna deceive that defender, thinking that touch is gonna take you inside, and then you wanna be quick with your feet, push it from the inside of the foot to the outside of the foot, push it up the line, and accelerate all in one movement. So let's piece it all together. We push, step over, reverse elastico, and off we go. This is what it looks like. We're gonna roll over the ball. We're gonna step over with the opposite foot and then we're gonna do a fake Rabona. So we put our foot on top of the ball, drag it back in the direction we just came from. Now our body's in between the defender and the ball. And the last movement is to drag it and accelerate down the line. Let's piece it all together. We roll, step over, foot on top of the ball, drag it back, push and accelerate. It's a bit risky, but if you have the confidence to pull this off in a match, you're going to be a legend. So we're going to take a reverse elastico, but we're going to do it in the air instead to make it even more deceptive. So the reason this one is so effective is because most defenders don't expect the ball to change direction while it's in flight. If it's on the ground, it's a little bit more predictable, but when the ball's in the air, most defenders don't expect it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our toe underneath the ball on the lower right hand side if you're right footed and you're gonna scoop the ball up diagonally towards the inside. And then our next move, we're gonna straighten out our foot so that we flick the ball in the opposite direction almost around the little toe. It's gonna flick it back 45 degrees in the opposite direction. That's gonna deceive the defender, then we can accelerate away. So let's piece it all together, inside, outside, and off we go. So this is what it looks like. We're on the sideline. We're gonna roll over the ball and step over once again. This time, we're gonna perform a McGeady spin to finish off the move. So as we roll over the ball, we're gonna perform what is like a Cruyff. So we pull the ball back with the inside of our foot behind our standing leg, and then with our opposite foot, we use the outside to push it in that same direction. So we roll, step over, inside, outside. We push the ball away, and we're in. So the first phase is stepping over the ball and then using your back foot, the inside, to push it to the inside of the pitch. That makes the defender think that's where you're going with the ball, so they lunge for this, and then you can quickly use the inside of the same foot to then push the ball down the line. So it has to be a quick movement and all in one fluid action. So we step in front of the ball, our back foot pushes it to the inside, then it's a quick snap, and then we accelerate up the line. So there we have it guys, 25 skills for you to go away and master. Hope you enjoyed them and hope you have a lot of fun learning them as well. Just before I go, I wanna say a huge thank you to Squarespace once again for sponsoring today's video. As mentioned, Squarespace is where I bought my very own website, 7mlctraining.com, and it's become the central hub of my entire brand. You can access everything 7mlc training related through my website, including my podcast, my programs, my Instagram, my YouTube. So if you do have a brand or a business, I would recommend getting a professional looking website and don't look any further than Squarespace because they provide so many great resources. They make it so easy to build a professional looking website without needing to know anything about coding or web design. And if you use the code in my description, www.squarespace.com slash 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos and I will see you guys in my next video.